Hello my dear students I am Renu Martin your English teacher This video is for class 3 subject English second new mulberry for the quarrel by Eleanor Pergeon before starting our poem we will learn about the poet eleanor pergeon was born on 13th february 1881 in england and died on 5th june 1965 at the age of 84 she wrote poems stories and plays for children she has written about her family and her childhood with her brother harry in a nursery in the 90s she also wrote the well known children's hymn morning has broken students now we will read the introduction of the poem generally brothers and sisters quarrel with each other it is a very common situation sometimes they quarrel without any reason in this poem the poet is trying to explain how a quarrel between a brother and his sister begins over a small petty issue and how a small kind act ends the quarrel children now we will recite the poem the quarrel i quarreled with my brother I don't know what about one thing led to another and somehow we fell out the start of it was slight the end of it was strong he said he was right i knew he was wrong we hated one another the afternoon turned black then suddenly my brother thumped me on the back and said oh come on we can't go on all night i was in the wrong so he was in the right The poet of this poem is Eleanor Fazion. Dear children, now I will recite the poem again and also explain it to you. I quarreled with my brother I don't know what about one thing led to another and somehow we fell out Quarrel means fight with words 
I quarrelled with my brother. I don't know what about. The poet says she quarrelled with her brother over something, and she was not even aware why she was quarrelling about. One thing led to another, and somehow we fell out. A series of things happened one after another, and somehow they started quarrel with each other. The start of it was slight. The end of it was. Strong. He said he was right. I knew he was wrong. We hated one another. The afternoon turned black. The start of it was slight. Slight means something small and not important. The beginning of the fight was small and ignorable. The end of it was strong. It means finally it became a big issue. He said he was right. The brother said that he was right. I knew he was wrong. but the sister knew that her brother was wrong we hated one another they started to hate each other the afternoon turned black it means something went wrong and unpleasant in the afternoon then suddenly my brother thumped me on the back and said oh come on we can't go on all night i was in the wrong so he was in the right then suddenly my brother thumped me on the back here thumped means give a hard friendly pat in the noon the fight became serious and both started hating each other all of a sudden poet's brother hit her on the back and said oh come on we can't go on all night here go on means keep on quarreling and the brother asked her to get along as it was not the right thing to pull the matter throughout the night i was in the wrong so he was in the right this moved the poet's heart and she realized that she was wrong and her brother was right students now we will start the exercises our first exercise is word meanings the first one is quarrel it means fight with 
words. Second is siblings. It means brothers or sisters. The third one is one thing led to another. It means things happened one after another. The fourth one is fell out. It means quarreled. The fifth one is slight. It means something small and not important. Sixth one is thumped. It means gave a hard friendly pet. Seventh one is go on. It means keep on quarreling. The next exercise is given below are the pictures of what happened as told in the poem. Number them in the order they took place. The A picture is number one because the poem starts with the quarrel of a brother and sister. The B picture is number 2 because after the quarrel they started hating each other. The C picture is number 3 because to end the fight the brother gave his sister a friendly pat on her back. The D picture is number 4 because in the end they both realized their mistakes. Read these lines and answer the questions that follow. The start of it was slight. The end of it was strong. He said he was right. I knew he was wrong. The first question is, what was Slight. And the answer is the start of the quarrel was slight. The next question is why was the end strong? And the answer is the end was strong because the more they quarrel, the more it grows. The next question is, what did the girl feel about her brother? And the answer is, the girl felt that her brother was wrong. Children, there are some more question answers. Question number 3 is, how did the brother end the quarrel? And the answer is, the brother ended the quarrel 
by giving his sister a friendly pat and telling her that they can't fight all night question number 4 is why does the girl finally agree that her brother was right and the answer is the girl finally agreed that her brother was right because he tried to end the quarrel question number 5 is do you think this poem is funny or serious say why and the answer is the poem is funny because they quarrel so long but forget about it so easily question number 6 is write about the time you quarreled with your sibling cousin or friend and then made up and the answer is once i had fought with my brother and we did not talk the full day but when i got stuck on a maths problem while completing my homework my brother helped me in solving that problem so my anger turned into silence and happiness students our next exercise is appreciation recitation and rhyme we must not quarrel with one another here is a poem for you to read aloud and recite so students you have to read the poem i say thank you i say please i say excuse me if i sneeze i say i'm sorry when i'm wrong because good manners make me strong i don't push i don't shout i ask my teacher if i want to go out i don't quarrel when we play and learn i always wait until it's my turn i don't grab i always share i speak kindly to show i care i say hello how do you do i know my manners how about you children after that poem there is a small exercise pick out the rhyming word pairs from the poem the first one is please sneezed next wrong strong next shout out next learn turn next share care next do you
dear children in the last i am giving you home assignment students will read and learn the poem write the exercises in your notebook so students now you will recite the poem again and watch the video carefully thank you